group dig, the Invictus Seekers. That's one of the fields that we've got. We're quite looking forward to it. There's the monument at the top there. So, uh, yeah, enjoy and uh, see you at the first hole. All right, we've got a uh, 61 to 63. We've also got um, red numbers coming up as well, so a bit of iron. Well, let's see. It's not that far down either. No, I've lost it. Said it was quite shallow, but clearly not. So let's have a look. <laughs> That's the crackle. Just a nail. Let's see if there's anything else. Because it was giving off a good signal as well. No, that's it. That's your first hole. Right, my wife's just called me over. Uh, there's her almighty great hole. <laughs> and she's just got herself a lump of lead that uh, looks like a weight. So that's interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if there used to be an eyelet just at the top of there. Um, but yeah, lump of lead that looks like a weight. And I'm being eaten alive today. Thank you very much. Oh, that's an eight, solid. Perfect circle on the line and not very far down apparently. Interesting to see. What's that? That button? Yeah, it's just the end of a button. There you go. Very warm today, and it's only 10 o'clock. <laughs> what we got? Oh, it's got some pattern on it. That's got some pattern on it. Now, because it's curved, did that used to be part of a fibula? Look at that. Was that part of a fibula? But it has a very nice pattern on it. Very nice. I'd say it's up that way. It has a pattern anyway. It's possibly part of a fibula. Ah, my wife's uh, on a roll today. She's just coming over to me. She says she just found a coin. I think it's a modern one. Oh yeah, half P. There you go, Queen Elizabeth the second. It's a half pence. So that's a, a 1970, 71, 72 ish, somewhere around there probably. But yeah, nice little coin. Well done. Coin in my pot. <laughs> yeah. All right, there's the hole. Bit of lead. I think it's a gaming piece. I might be wrong. Yeah, it looks like a gaming piece. So yeah, possible gaming piece. 
Happy with that. <laughs> right, under the monument. There's the monument. There's my wife, bloody grinning again. She's found another coin. Is it a modern day or is it a half? It's toasted. <laughs> it might be toasted, but it's got a date on the bottom. Um, that looks like 18 something. An old so penny? she's got an old half pence. Not bad at all. It's a half pea. Well done. Best sound so far. There's going to be a can in it. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> right, what's that? Cool, I haven't got a clue. What is that? Cool, I haven't got a clue on that. That looks like wood. It's a vicious little tool, whatever it is. Especially if that's fired from anything. There you go. Alright, my first corner of the day. It's on the surface. That's where it was. It's a 20p. 20 pence. There you go. Right, have I just found my, my second coin? I have. And it's another 20p. <laughs> it's another 20p, I don't believe it. Never mind. Oh, we got. Have a cog. There you go. Just a cog. Or it produced the bullet. Yeah, just a bullet. It's got no rifle in on it that I can see. So I don't know if it's an unfired one. Or whether it was fired out of a smooth bore. I can't see any rifle in on it at all. But yeah, one bullet. village where me and my wife used to live as well. Oh, is that rubbish is it? Caught on something. What's that? No, it's not rubbish. It's an old toy car, isn't it? I might be wrong. It's an old toy car. <laughs> I 
and there's the church. Oh, airport crash defender. Yeah, airport crash defender. It's a fire truck. There you go. A little fire truck. Shield you from the wind. It's got that up. It was in that hole there. Don't know if it's part of a buckle. Looks like it might be part of a buckle. A little bit of a clean. Yeah, I'd say that's part of a buckle. There you go. Nice little pattern on it. Right, it's out. It's out. And that is a big lump of shrapnel. <laughs> big lump. Yeah. There's the fuse around the top. Big lump. Wow. Sixty four, sixty five. Says it's deep, but I'll take that with a pinch of salt because there it is there. We have a coin. Try not to rub it too much. Black patina on it, so potentially that is gonna be a Vicky. Black patina. And then I'm going to get proved wrong. <laughs> there you go. How to get proved wrong. Oh, it's not far off, is it? 1907. So that'll be Edward VII. I wasn't that far off really, was I? There you go, look at that. Perfect. Absolute stonker. Absolute stonker. Of a coin. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. Tough to bits. I'm getting iffy 20. I think it's a bit of lead. I think it's just lead. Let's have a look. Oh, it actually looks like it's got a pattern on it. Oh, it has. Is it lead? Yeah, it's very pliable. Mm, 
it says something there. Can't quite make out what it says. Ah, what's that? Feels like lead. And that, that's, um, oh, that's Queen Victoria. That looks like Queen Victoria. So what's this bit then? that oh yeah definitely uh is that queen victoria what is that what is that That looks like Queen Victoria. I might be wrong, but I don't know what that is. It feels lead. Right, I know you won't be able to see that because it's an action camera. I believe that that word there says Jubilee, and it says Queen, I think it says Queen something down there. Let me just have a look at my camera on my phone. Um, I think it says Queen. And that, but that definitely says the word Jubilee. And then when I turn that over, and it is lead, by the way. So I don't know if it's a, uh, a Jubilee medal or something. So if I put that over there. You know, I can't really make out what it says. But I will... Uh, I will take a photograph and I just want to turn that over because I've got it on full zoom so I'll just get a photograph with that there as well I know it's not complete 